in Lava Hot Springs, Idaho, and in celebration of St. Patty's Day, we're going to cook up some corned beef and cabbage. So we're going to go over and we'll get the briquettes going. I think we'll light a little fire to keep us warm a little bit. It's in the 40s today, but we'll be back and we'll get this yummy dish going. Okay, let's get this dish going. So what we're going to do is I have my 10-inch Dutch oven here. We're going to preheat this for about 10 minutes and get it up to 450 degrees. I have 10 briquettes here on the, the bottom. Get that on there, like so. Okay. Then I'm going to put about 19 on top. We'll just let this preheat for about 10 minutes. I'll put all those on there. And then we'll go ahead and add the ingredients and start it up. So we'll see you back. Okay, here we go. Let's get this going. So let's take the lid off. Oh yeah, it's preheated nice. I'm going to drizzle some uh, oil in here. bit like that get that going and then what I have here is just one onion we cut it up and we're gonna put this on the bottom yeah that smells awesome the onion and then we have two stalks of celery put on the onions here and then here's your corned beef I'm just going to put this whole deal in just like this. Let's flip it that way. This will bake for, we're going to bake this for an hour. But look at that, that is going to be sweet. And then in this bowl, we have two potatoes. We just dice these up in little cubes. And then in this Ziploc, look at these colorful carrots here. This is two cups of carrots. Looks like they're tri-colored. So this is gonna be healthy. Get all these things in here. I'm gonna kneel back down on that knee. And then what we have here is we cut up a head of cabbage. And what you wanna do is just put as much in as you can. <laughs> we put a lot of meat in there. <laughs> so this that looks really good. But this cabbage will will soak down. So, because I I don't want to put it tight to the lid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with that, and this is going to cook for about 30 minutes once we get going, and we'll probably check it. Let's check it in like 30 minutes, and if that shrinks down, we can add some more of that. But the next thing we want to do, I have a half a cup of beef broth here. And then I have some seasonings, a quarter teaspoon of allspice, quarter teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of pepper. We're just going to whip this ah, it's tight into this beef broth here. <laughs> Give it a little stir. We'll set that right there and let's pour this right here. Oh, this is fun. There's that, and then the last thing is two bay leaves. How cool is that? In a green bowl, to boot. So I'm just gonna put one right there, and one right there. Now, what we wanna do is we preheated this at 450, but I'm gonna reduce the temperature to 350, and we're gonna cook it at 350 for an hour. So at 350, I want eight, briquettes on the bottom so I'll just take two off because I had ten there put one more over there get those all centered in there and then twelve on top so I'll pull three off and then if we need to add or decrease the heat or whatever after we check it because we're gonna check it in 30 minutes because we're all gonna be anxious to see what this awesome thing is going to look like we don't want to wait a whole hour so yeah there we go in 30 minutes we'll check it out so we'll see you back all right let's check this out it's been 30 minutes so let's lift the lid off here it smells 
awesome. I can smell the onions more than anything. I get a whiff of them all the time. Look at that. The cabbage is getting done right on top. Maybe that those are just a little bit too close to the lid. But that smells awesome. Look at those juices down in there. It's kind of look it's bubbling down in there. See that boiling? So the way that looks, I'm just going to leave it alone. The cabbage is fine. It shrunk down a little bit. I don't want to get too much close to the lid because it, then it's going to burn. So we're just going to let this go like this uh, another 30 minutes and we should be good to go. So let's, uh, I'm going to kind of show you a little bit about where we're at. So kind of walk over here with me, Jenny. So this is the Portneuf River here. And the, the Orisama Lava, it's a motel. They have a pet cemetery right over there. There's like a circle of rocks. We float this river. You tube this in the summer. You rent tubes, float this, it's awesome. Come over here, this is the hot pool. Riverside Inn, you just go up the town. There's the public pools up there. But it's just this small, awesome town. Good times, love it here. Okay, it's been another 30 minutes, so this is cooked for a total of 60 minutes. So this is smelling awesome. Let's get the lid off here. Oh, look at that. That is sweet. Look at that corned beef. That just tears right apart. I'm going to slide this plate over here. But look at that. There's that bay leaf. You don't want to eat the bay leaves. So I'm just going to set that aside. But look at that. That is just tearing right apart. Awesome. Let's get some cabbage. Look at those carrots. Let me get the spoon in my other hand that works better because I'm right-handed. There we go. Let me get that. Okay, that is sweet. Get that onion back in there. Yeah, this cooked up good. Let's put that lid back on and keep it hot, but I'm going to try this out. This is awesome. All oh, those potatoes, look, they just fall apart. Hot. Mmm. Mmm. That is yummy. Look at this corned beef. This is so good. Here we go. We're in Lava Hot Springs. We cook this St. Patty's Day yummy dinner. My mouth's half full of food, so I can't talk very good, so. There we go, but yeah, if you liked what you've seen, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll see you next time. This was fun.